tremendous to have all of you back here with us again tonight. I'm Robert Urban. I'm the executive director here at the Koch Institute. The Within Sight series is a program that really is the Koch Institute's uh, initiative to reach out to the public. We start the evening talking about the fundamental problem, most often from the, the mind of a clinician. Then in the middle of the evening, we tend to give you an example of work that's taking place at MIT, prototypes that might emerge that could make a difference in the topic of the evening. And then we close the evening with people who have, if you will, run down the, if you will, the gauntlet ahead of us to try to do what's required to get it into the lives of people. So, our first speaker tonight is Glenn Dranoff. The idea of manipulating a cancer patient's immune system to achieve clinically significant benefit has been around for quite some time. But it's only recently, in the last two years, that uh, definitive evidence that immunity matters for clinical outcome has been established. Uh, this patient happens to have a far advanced uh, melanoma, a lethal skin tumor that has spread now into the lungs. And here you can see now, eight years later, this patient uh, is still alive and in fact is completely asymptomatic. So let me introduce our, our next speaker. Uh, Professor Daryl Irvine, is important for me to be able to say, is one of our own. Daryl is a great example of one of our engineers, but a card-carrying, maybe even more than that, uh, immunologist. And so he's certainly a, a very forceful biologist as well. I'm just going to focus on one uh, particular approach for uh, treatment of cancer called adoptive uh, cell therapy. And the idea is to get a patient's own immune system uh, doing a better job of going after their cancer. And this approach has been uh, shown to have some pretty impressive and dramatic results in, in small clinical trials. And, and this is where our sort of engineering approach came in, because we thought about what if we could transfer T cells in location and instead of um, giving them systemic drug, let's give them a supporting drug that the T cell carries with it, each individual cell, uh, having a little suitcase of drug attached to the cell surface. So this is uh, looking promising and now we're looking for more rigorous models to test in and, and looking at the steps it takes to move this toward testing in humans. 